so I want to talk about a few different things, but first of all, I just want to admit some mistakes and stuff that I made um, on my website, except you be converted com. you know, my Bible truths and stuff, I'm going through and explaining doctrine and stuff um, to my knowledge and, you know, some of my the stuff that I thought was wrong, and I just want to say that it's uh, it's important to know terms and definitions and stuff like that uh, because like let's say like the Trinity I said that it's um, the Trinity is one being and three separate persons but I, I realize that it's not really accurate to say separate persons because that kinda makes it like you know like three different beings or three different deities I don't know so <laughs> I mean I'm still learning this stuff but it's more accurate to say like one divine being and three distinct persons and um, uh, let's see and like as far as Jesus Christ I said like while he was on earth he was fully man and fully God which is true but he still is fully man and fully God as well and that's something that I really kinda didn't totally understand so I'm, I'm learning that and I'm working on a Jesus Christ page right now on my website and I'm actually getting the information from this systematic theology uh, Christology by Dr. E.C. Bragg and you can just search it on Google and it's a PDF and you can download it so it's pretty helpful but I'm trying to just get the verses from this and stuff and just cut cut out all the fat and the commentary and stuff and just trying to present that on my website just the verses and the main points and uh, so there's still a lot of stuff that I have to learn totally I mean we're always learning but you know even some of the basics I still need to learn about Christ and stuff I'm learning about you know like the hypo the hypostatic union that's like the incarnation of Christ like both natures man and God and um, so yeah it's just terms and definitions and stuff can be really important and we can you know we can say one thing and mean something but if we don't use the right term it can it can mean something completely different it can be taken the wrong way um, so what I'm making this video about besides that is something that I think is pretty cool and I kinda of have deja vu like I might have already like talked about this before <laughs> And, uh, I don't know if I did or not, but it seems like it's new to me. But it has to do with this Christology, and I've already put this on my website, so you can check it out on there. Um, but it's talking about the pre-existence of Christ, like, proofs of the pre-existence uh, pre of Christ. And the last one is the manifestation of Christ in the Old Testament, and this is called Christophanes. Christophanes means manif manifestations of Christ. So I already knew, like, that, you know, the angel or the man that visited Abraham, people say that was the Lord Jesus Christ in the Old Testament. But there's a lot of other inst instances that I didn't realize. So I'm just going to read this uh, section of this that I have this exact thing posted on my website, but then I'll, I'm going to go over some of the verses. So it says the manifestation of Christ in the Old Testament uh, is a proof of the pre-existence of Christ. These are called Christophanies, or manifestations of Christ. Throughout the Old Testament, there is majestic personage of supernatural aspect and workings who acts in the name of Jehovah and bears titles and attributes of deity. He is commonly called the angel, or the angel of the Lord, the angel of his presence or face, my angel, God talking, Messenger of the Lord, Jehovah, and angel or messenger of the covenant. He can be none other than deity, and is identified with Christ. He appears as an angel, and sometimes as a man in the Old Testament. Proof that this angel is Christ. Consider his appearance to Joshua, Joshua 5.13. He accepted worship, hallowed ground. Captain of the Lord's hosts, as Exodus 3.2 and 14. This captain is the angel of God presented. Exodus 14, 19, chapter 23, verse 23, and chapter 32, verse 34. Who was this angel? Paul tells us, 1 Corinthians 10, 4. Also note Acts 27, 23. 
and then all the references uh, to these manifestations of Christ in the Old Testament are Genesis chapter 16, verse 7 through 13, chapter 18, verse 1, chapter 22, 11 through 18, chap uh, chapter 31, 11 through 13, chapter 32, 24 through 32. So, I want to look at the one in Joshua. In Joshua... Chapter 5, verse 13, it says, And it came to pass, when Joshua was, was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, there stood a man over against him, with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went unto him and said unto him, Art thou for us or for our adversaries? And he said, Nay, but as captain of the host of the Lord am I now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth, and did worship, and said unto him, What saith my Lord unto his servant? And the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoe from off thy foot, for the place whereon thou standest is holy. So, you know, first of all, you know, well, yeah. so it's the captain of the host of the Lord. Um, Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship. Um, this can't be an angel, because only you know only God would accept worship. Um, in Revelation twenty two eight and nine, it says that uh, you know an angel. I'll just go to that. Let's see, Revelation twenty two. Verse eight and nine, and I saw John, and or no, I John saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard them, I, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren the prophets and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. So, you know, this had to be God. This had to be a deity. And. uh Joshua referred to him as my Lord, and and then he told Joshua to that this is holy ground that he stands on, just like Moses and the burning bush, which was another time that Christ manifested was manifested in the Old Testament. Um, I want to look at these uh, when it says, "Who was this angel?" Paul tells us, First Corinthians. 10.4. So I want to see that reference. 1 Corinthians 10.4. Okay. Well, 1 Corinthians 10.4 says, And did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> um then it also says no Acts twenty seven twenty three. Acts twenty seven twenty three. For there stood by me this night the angel of God, whose I am and whom I serve. Oh. Gotta underline that in my Bible here. Okay. Yeah, so I think that's a pretty good reference there. He refers to the Lord Jesus Christ as the angel of God because that's who Paul serves. So yeah, it's definitely a good reference to that. So anyways, it's probably just confusing or whatever, but I just wanted to share this new word that I learned and, uh, you know, Christophanes. So. 
I encourage you to go to my website and check out that, check out all those verses, or just do a Google search for Christophanies, and there might even be, you know, I'm sure there's more on it. So, that's something to study, and it's something different than repentance and stuff that I get stuck on all the time. So, thanks for watching, God bless. Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.